So dysphoria is actually the opposite of euphoria. So patients who are receiving an opioid, we want them to be euphoric. We want them to be comfortable, calm, and relaxed. So an animal that is dysphoric is we've kind of gone around the corner from euphoria. So pain, on the other hand, is an obviously like uncomfortable sensation. So the way I would start this initially is because to maybe an untrained eye, those look kind of similar. Patients are vocal, um, patients seem, the word I like to use for that is inconsolable. So patients that are inconsolable don't want you to offer them food, they don't need to be petted, they don't want co the um, company, they don't need to go to the bathroom, Whereas, a, and you can usually touch the area, the incision, and they don't react to it. Whereas a patient that's painful reacts to that. Um, so my kind of flow chart of my approach to it is rule out pain first. So if you are kind of like, I could go either way, um, start with pain. And I would, in that case, deliver a opioid. So let's say a fentanyl bolus. So if it's no better, probably dysphoria. Or if it's worse, maybe it's dysphoria. But if it's resolved, then it was pain. 